Good day and salutations. Today's briefing, China's striker brigades. Are they any good? Many countries need an army formation that sits between the heavy armoured units and light infantry units. Something that can deploy faster than the heavier tank units, but have more protection and sustainability than the lighter infantry units. For the US, these are the striker brigade combat teams. For China, they are the medium combined arms brigades. This briefing will examine the structure and equipment of a standard medium combined arms brigade. We'll begin with the reconnaissance battalion. As with other PLA combined arms brigades, the medium combined arms brigade has a dedicated reconnaissance battalion. Interestingly, the battalion headquarters appears to have its own UAVs with two or three carried in six by six trucks. The main elements of the battalion are the reconnaissance companies, with the first company a heavy company equipped with ZBL-08 reconnaissance vehicles. These are armed with the same 30mm gun as the ZBL-08 infantry fighting vehicles. They are equipped with ground surveillance radars, electro-optical sights and UAVs. They can launch their own UAVs by way of a folding ramp located behind the turret in a similar manner to that shown here on a reconnaissance vehicle from a heavy combined arms battalion. The second reconnaissance company is equipped with light vehicles, also equipped with ground surveillance radars and electro-optical sights. There is likely a third reconnaissance company, possibly a mobile infantry unit, or one equipped with additional UAVs. The reconnaissance battalion is the fifth battalion within the brigade and includes a support company in addition to the likely three reconnaissance companies. The likely next element involved in action is the artillery battalion. The main capability of the battalion is the PLL-09 gun howitzer. Armed with a 122mm gun, it can fire out to 18km normally and to 27km with assisted rounds. The gun howitzers are augmented by a multiple launch rocket system. For the medium brigade, these are the PHL 11s. Armed with 40 122mm rockets, they can reach out to 40km normally and 50km with extended range missiles. The final element in the battalion is the anti tank guided missile capability. This is likely equipped with vehicle mounted AFT 10 long range ATGMs. Now I haven't seen this system mounted on the ZBL hull as depicted here in service in the PLA. If this is not mounted on the ZBL hull, the AFT-10 might be mounted on the same chassis as used by the PHL-11. The artillery battalion then comprises three howitzer companies or batteries, each of nine guns. A multiple launch rocket system uh, company with nine launch vehicles and an anti-tank guided missile company with eight launch vehicles. Now I have seen the anti-tank guided missile company as the sixth company in a heavy combined arms brigade's artillery battalion, suggesting that that unit has either an additional multiple launch rocket system or ATGM company. It is not known if this carries through to all or some of the medium combined arms brigades. Moving to the manoeuvre formations of the brigade, the medium combined arms battalions. The ZBL-08 forms the basis of a family of AFVs used throughout the battalion, including combat and service support vehicles. The commonality of vehicles significantly simplifies training and logistics support throughout the formation. Note the PLA appears to be starting the introduction into service of a new 8x8 infantry fighting vehicle equipped with a remote control turret. I will cover this vehicle in a future briefing. The medium combined arms battalion has an organic reconnaissance element in the form of a reconnaissance troop or platoon with around six vehicles and is likely part of the battalion headquarters. These vehicles are likely split between ZBL-08 reconnaissance vehicles, as seen in the reconnaissance battalion, and ZBL-08 infantry fighting vehicles carrying dismantable reconnaissance troops. 
In addition to normal reconnaissance missions, the dismounts also employ handheld UAVs to supplement those carried by the ZBL-08 reconnaissance vehicles. The main combat element of the battalion are the mechanised infantry companies, each equipped with up to 14 ZBL-08s. Armed with a 30mm gun, with a range of up to 2,000 metres effective for land targets and 4,000 metres effective for air targets, and two HJ-73 anti-tank guided missiles with a range up to 3,000 metres. They can carry seven to eight dismantable infantry. The other component of the battalion's spearhead are the assault guns, with the battalion equipped with up to 14 ZTL-11s. Armed with a 105mm rifle gun, it is capable of firing APFSDS rounds effectively out to 2,000 metres, high explosive to 4,000 metres, and 105mm anti-tank guided missiles to 5,000 metres. The ZTL-11 weighs around 23 tonnes. For comparison, the standard Italian Centauro weighs around 24 tonnes and the US mobile gun system around 18 tonnes. Supporting these manoeuvre companies is the battalion's organic artillery, provided by PLL-05 gun mortars. The PLL-05 is able to provide either direct fire support beyond 1,000 metres or indirect fire support up to almost 13 kilometres. Now, while not designed to take on enemy tanks, the direct fire from these weapons can be very effective against dug-in positions and fortifications, while indirect fire is utilised for counter-battery missions and preparation of the battlefield. Rounding out the battalion is the support company, providing both combat and service support. The company includes armoured recovery vehicles, equipped with a crane, winch and A-frame towing attachment. Joining them are the Armoured Combat Engineer Vehicles, again based on a modified ZBL-08. These are equipped with a flexible dozer blade, bucket and claw. Its role is to build and remove defences and clear obstacles. The company likely includes Armoured Transport Vehicles, essentially ZBL-08 APCs without turret and ambulance versions of the same vehicle. The ambulance version of the ZBL Armoured Command Vehicle is likely deployed by the Brigade's Support Battalion's medical company. The Combined Arms Battalion then has a total armoured combat vehicle strength of around 14 assault guns, approximately 15 ZBL-08 infantry fighting vehicles and armoured variants, and nine self-propelled guns, augmented by a wide variety of vehicles providing combat and service support. Protecting the Brigade from aerial threats is the Air Defence Battalion, which is now being issued with a new and as yet undesignated system. This system is armed with a six-barrel Gatling-style gun and two twin, very short-range, surface-to-air missile launchers. Also for very short-range air defence, the Battalion likely includes manpad teams, carried by the APC version of the ZBL-08 but held at the Air Defence Battalion and allocated to Combined Arms Battalions as required. Augmenting these is the HQ-17A Short Range Surface to Air Missile. Each vehicle carries eight missiles with a range of up to 15 kilometres. The Air Defence Battalion then comprises three companies or batteries of gun missile systems, each of six vehicles likely a manpads company with possibly eight vehicles, each carrying two manpads teams, and a short-range surface-to-air missile company with eight vehicles. The combat elements of the brigade then consist of the 1st through 4th battalions being the combined arms battalions, 5th battalion reconnaissance, 6th battalion artillery, and 7th battalion air defence. To this we then add the support battalions. The combat support battalions vehicles are again largely based on the ZBL hull and include a number of capabilities, including signals or communications and networking, CBRN, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear defence, mine clearing vehicles with the vehicles allocated to the combined arms battalions as required, and bridge layers 
again with the vehicles allocated to the combined arms battalions as required. The battalion might also have a pontoon bridge capability, which would be augmented by the Group Army's Independent Engineer Brigade. The complete combined arms brigade then is as follows. The combat support battalion is the 8th battalion and together with those capabilities already mentioned would include electronic warfare and military police companies. The service battalion is the 9th and final battalion and likely includes maintenance, um, electrical and mechanical engineers, support, logistics, transport and medical companies. In summary, the medium combined arms brigade provides PLA commanders increased operational and tactical flexibility compared to the heavy and light brigades. It represents a highly mobile mechanised force based on wheeled vehicles, providing a formation that is well balanced with a comprehensive family of combat and support vehicles, reasonably well protected and with good tactical mobility. It is not as air transportable as the US striker brigade combat teams. Instead, it is designed to be able to rapidly self-deploy on China's extensive road network. The Combat Arms Brigade will usually be augmented by assets from its parent Group Army's independent brigades, including heavier artillery, more significant engineer capabilities and aviation support, amongst others. That concludes today's briefing. Thank you for watching. Happy to take suggestions for future briefings from subscribers, so please subscribe, like and share. Until next time, Vale de Cerro.